Hello, I'm State Representative Marlene Anielski from the 17th House District. Welcome to Ohio in Focus. Hello, and welcome to this edition of Ohio in Focus, a program that brings state government to you. I'm your host, Charles Willoughby. We have with us today State Representative Marlene Anielski, who serves the 17th House District, which includes portions of Cuyahoga County. Thank you for joining us, Representative. Yeah, thank you very much. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about your background, your professional experience, and how you became a State Representative? Well, I was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio and went to college, went to University of Akron, and then got my master's from Cleveland State University, and really just worked in the business sector. So I had various jobs in sales and marketing, customer service, human resources, and my last position really was business project management. And I just happened to go to a council meeting in the municipality that I lived. I eventually ran for council, then I became their council president pro tem, became their mayor, and then my constituents asked me to run for state representative. Well, that's uh, quite a ex successive line of events and probably some great experience uh, back in the district. Um, what uh, inspired you initially to run for state representative or to go to that initial council meeting? Well, I just wanted to get involved in the municipality and see what was going on. And I think municipalities need to be run like a business. So I just started asking questions. And that eventually led for people interested um, in me becoming a council person. Very nice. Well, we appreciate it and we're glad to have you here today. Thank you. What are some of the major issues or concerns uh, that are facing your district currently? Well, I, I, I think right now people are concerned about their jobs and welfare. Of course. And I, I think just talking to the businesses, listening to the businesses, and what items do they need to help them be successful. When the businesses are successful, then they're eventually going to be hiring, you know, Ohioans, people from the 17th district, and helping out the working families. So I really have to concentrate on um, creating those jobs. And some of your business experience has probably helped you along the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. And now we've been, uh, this is your first term here in the House. Correct. Um, and you've probably worked on, it's been a fast-paced um, General Assembly so far. So what are some of the main in initiatives or legislation that you've worked on that you're very proud of or that you've gotten very involved with? Well, I, I think um, one item is the um, House Bill 195. Okay. And in House Bill 195, um, I am actually a joint sponsor with that piece of legislation. And that really is consumer protection legislation. And we are looking at regulating the sweepstake terminal devices okay. for all of our constituents. In addition, I think um, House Bill 153, which is the budget, and it is an extremely tough budget, especially with us not having the revenue to help out all the Ohioans and helping out all the different agencies. And so I was really instrumental and working with my superintendents because I really thought that we needed to help the schools get their funding back. I, that's uh, it's, it's important work, especially in the uh, economic situation that we're in currently. Um, another piece of legislation that's going through the committee process is uh, House Bill 133, which uh, creates the Oil and Gas Leasing Commission. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the Oil and Gas Leasing Commission or about that bill and how you've um, gotten involved with that? Well, with that particular um, bill, as mayor, I believe that municipalities should control their own destiny, and I believe that they should have home rule. So in that particular bill, I, I did not vote for that, and I support, you know, municipalities, you know, making their own decisions, mm -hmm. and also I do understand, you know, my colleagues in, in supporting that, but I also think that municipalities should make their own decisions, and we just need to protect all of the Ohioans' cons constituents that use the parks. So I did not support that. That, that's, that is great, and it's probably coming back again to your local um, experience and some of your business uh, experience as well. Um, and, and in addition to that, uh, Senate Bill 2, um, which has sometimes been called a, uh, a CSI, um, what is the CSI and how is that and now in effect in Ohio, how is that um, helping with the economy and possibly creating jobs as well? Well, CSI stands for Common Sense Initiative, mm -hmm. and really that's looking at regulations and laws for businesses. 
And if it makes sense, then we should have it. And so we are actually a asking for input from the business community as to what makes sense for them or what negatively impacts them. And if it negatively impacts them, what can we do to help it not negatively impact you in order for you to create jobs and in order for you to make capital investments? So I did support that, and I think that is a very good bill. Well, we appreciate that too, especially, in, like we said, in the economy that we're in today. Um, and what are some of the um, committees? Now, all these bills have had to work its way through the committee process. Um, what committees are you currently sitting on as uh, a member? Um, right now, I am sitting on the Education Committee. I, I think you need to have an educated workforce in order to help businesses. I'm also on the Economic and Small Development Committee. I'm also on Finance and Appropriations, and obviously you need to have the finances and appropriations in order to help everything flow. Sure. And I'm also on Public Utilities. Well, the, uh, especially the Finance and, and Appropriations recently and into the future we'll be working with the budget process and so you must have a uh, pretty extensive background on that um, which is a difficult bill that we've been working on for some time. Um, now you obviously have a lot of committees, you've been working on a few bills and, and some other initiatives through the district. What if, uh, what could you explain to us what maybe a typical day for you would be at the State House? Well, I, I think um, first when you come to the State House, everyone wants to, wants to meet you and indicate their concerns to you. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of committee meetings. So you're working a lot with colleagues, mm -hmm. you know, working on what is best for the constituents, you know, in Ohio. In addition, you're meeting with your constituents. So a lot of the constituents, if they have, you know, cer certain interests, they come down and talk to you about it. Or if they have certain concerns that they need assistance with or working through the process, you help them as well. In addition, you do a lot of policy research. So when you are working on bills, you want to make sure that you have done the appropriate research and you make sure that it's fair to everyone. So, you know, when you do have a bill that it answers, you know, the need and it answers the call that, you know, the problem that you want to resolve. Um, well, we appreciate the uh proper planning and study, especially the research side of, of legislation that are sometimes so complex that it does take, like you said, a, an entire committee of discussion over weeks of time to uh, hammer out all the details. Um, now what, what would you say would you enjoy most about your job at the State House since you've become a, a state representative? Well, I do like talking with um, people and the people that have issues or, or concerns, you know, trying to figure out and thinking out of the box yeah. as to what can we do in order to resolve that, you know, situation. So actually I'm working on a, another bill now that the constituent brought to me. Mm -hmm. We've done all the policy research. We're having the LSE do additional research now and then we're going to be bringing it to committee. So hopefully that'll go, you know, smoothly through the process, but it's really seeing that end result that there was a situation, we got input from other you know, interested parties to make sure that it's fair to all and then getting a final result. That's, uh, and it's interesting because you don't always see all the different moving parts um, with introducing a bill in the Legislative Services Commission um, and all the committee process and everything. Most of the time you see the vote on the floor and hopefully the effect is a, is a positive one for the state. Um, now, what, what are some of the initiatives that maybe you've brought on, like you said, with some of your constituents, uh, or is there any groups that you've been working with in that uh, issue specifically from your district? Um, any groups of constituents or issues that you've brought to the State House since you've been here? Well, I have met with several constituents even before I was sworn into office. So I've met with um, all my superintendents. I actually have 13 superintendents and 11 different school districts. So I brought all the superintendents together and I indicated to them that I'm going to need their assistance in order to help them through this budget process. Mm -hmm. So quite a few of them came down to testify in order to indicate the impact that the budget was going to have on their school districts, working with school board members, working with chambers of commerces, working with businesses in the district. I also met with all the economic development managers of the 17 municipalities that I represent and just indicating to them that I'm here to listen and what else needs to be done in order for you to be successful. Therefore, we will have a successful 17th district and also a successful Ohio. Well, with 13 municipalities, 13 superintendents and numerous uh, municipalities, you definitely have a lot of communication, you're probably traveling around the district quite a bit. Correct. How would you say would be the best way for your constituents or for other groups to get a hold of you in your office? Okay, they can call me and they can also email me. Do you have the email address? Uh, the email address is district17 mm -hmm. at ohr.state.gov.
www.ohs.us. And I also publicize in the local um, newspapers as to my office hours at the different library branches in the district. That's wonderful. Now, if I may uh, uh, travel back a little bit, has this job been everything you've expected it to be? I know that you said you've enjoyed many parts of it, and it's been extremely busy uh, this year. Has it been expected, or was it more than you expected here? In the state I, house? I think being a mayor, I was mayor over 10 years, mm -hmm. so I know how the local municipalities work. So this was just a, a little bit different, much faster pace than it is um, being a mayor, but it's a good faster pace. Yeah. And basically, we don't have time to sit down and relax because every day that goes by, you know, we need to be helping people get back to work. We need to be helping the constituents in, you know, making Ohio run smoother. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. And I, I think as long as people are communicating and people want the same end result of being a successful Ohio, then I think we'll all succeed. That's wonderful. And um, what, what about your district in particular um, has a more unique flavor, if you will. There's 99 House districts. Is there anything specifically that you've brought to the State House here from your district that, is, that makes it unique in one way or another? Well, I, I, I think um, I have rural districts, a little mm -hmm. bit of rural. I have also um, a, a lot of cities. So I have a little bit of everything. And it's just interesting how you have to think of all of those particular municipalities in order to come up with a solution. But I think as long as you are talking, as long as you are listening, then you know we can work it out. So dealing with all those municipalities, now dealing with 99 House members, probably hasn't been too much of a challenge for you. Um, it's been interesting. <laughs> it's been interesting. Well, Representative, thank you very much for coming in today. It's thank been great having, having you. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you again on the next edition of Ohio in Focus, the program that brings state government to you. Thank you for joining us.